Hello everyone, my name is Alberto, welcome back to my channel. So this is my dog, you might remember him from other videos, if you haven't seen them, I'm gonna link them somewhere around here. His name is Amos, he's an Italian Greyhound, and he's always cold. It's kind of a thing of uh, the breed, they do like being warm at all times, because they have close to no hair. So he usually wears stuff like this, uh, this sort of pyjama romper thingy. This is one I made some time ago, copying another one that I had bought for him. And this is the pattern that I did trace for that one. Uh, so I decided to make him another one, because he needs one. Uh, I have this black fleece that I had used for a trying to make a pattern from a hoodie, so I'm gonna recycle it into this. Uh, I ironed everything, especially the pattern pieces, I'm gonna start placing them on the fabric and pinning them all around. You can sort of maybe see what the different pieces are, these are the collar and the back, then we have the front leg and we have the little piece in the middle. Then we have the back leg, so the front leg, the back leg is the biggest piece, and we're gonna cut that. Uh, it's The pattern is made for a hem, but I'm gonna cut it off since I'm gonna use ribbing. And I also made the pattern slightly bigger because during quarantine, he did gain some weight, like all of us, um, but in the end, it turned out that that was a bit extra. So I'm gonna start by putting together uh, the back, which is the main part of the body, and the front piece. I'm just gonna serge them together, because it's the easiest thing. And once that's done, I'm gonna start uh, sewing close the leg seam, uh, the side seam of the leg, and attaching the front legs to the rest of the body. Uh, the front legs are basically sleeves, and they're a raglan sleeve, uh, so they're attached all the way instead of just to the armhole. And this is very common in dog patterns because uh, they have obviously a different anatomy to us. And this, the raglan makes it easier to fit them because their arms obviously are their front legs and they're sort of twisted to the front compared to ours that are mostly to the side. Uh, so if you never made a dog pattern, it's not the easiest. Uh, the easiest way is probably to just try and copy something that you do have or buy a very cheap one and take it apart. So once that's done, we're gonna take our back legs, which have a center seam where they join. I'm gonna join them together and then attach them to the back. And once they're attached, I'm just gonna close the um, side seam of the back legs. And with that, the whole body is done. So the next step is we have this whole body completed, now we need to finish it. We could either hem it or, since I'm gonna put some ribbing, I'm gonna put ribbing on the legs as well. I started cutting some ribbing strips. Uh, I have a long one for basically the little belly um, piece, and then I have four small ones for the legs. I'm gonna fold them flat and give them a quick press and start attaching them with the um, sewing machine. I'm still gonna use my overlock since it's a knit. Uh, I'm first gonna close all the different pieces and then attach them to the actual body of the pyjama, romper, whatever you wanna call it. If you've never used ribbing, it's actually pretty simple. It's basically just a one-by-one one knit, um, and you can 
find thicker ones or thinner ones depending on what you're using them on this is sort of a t-shirt ribbing it's kind of lightweight and very fine uh, so i use it just to border the whole thing and this is the finished result uh, and now to try it on so um i mostly use on him something like little sweaters um but he in the winter especially he does really need this amount of coverage it's a bit more of a struggle to put him on him he doesn't really complain or anything because he likes to wear those but it's kind of like dressing a baby but yeah, so this is the final result. Uh, it still needs a little adjustment here and there, but I'm pretty happy with it and he is too. Uh, I hope you liked it and you liked the video. I hope it was useful for you or entertaining. Uh, please like and subscribe if you aren't already. It's a really great help for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye, have a great day.